Thank you. Great. That's good news. We're ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay, good morning, everybody. It's uh, December 14th, a little after 9 a.m., and we're having a conference uh, called meeting, which has been made public regarding a recent budget issue that has come to our attention. Uh, we have a quorum, but let's take attendance. Uh, I'm Jim Shalek. Please, you know, chime in. No, he's okay, man. Jackie Phillips. Mary Ann Keith. David Naiman. Alan Benno. And Alan. Kevin Karpinski. Alex, did you sign in? Yes, uh, Alex Vincent here. Okay, so we have everybody present. Margaret, I'm going to turn it over to you to explain uh, why we uh, called this meeting. Uh, yes, good morning, everyone, and uh, happy holidays. Uh, the reason we're convening this meeting is that we received a letter, which I did provide to the board, requesting that uh, we reduce our budget um, by $121,100. Um, and my uh, recommendation to the budget committee and Allison's recommendation to the budget committee uh, was that that uh, we should ask for a waiver. We have asked for a waiver in the past um, because all of our discretionary funds related to uh, the mission of the department uh, have been expended. Uh, additionally, we had the issue of uh, the end of the primary election went into this fiscal year so that the cost of part of the canvases as well as the recounts occurred all in this fiscal year. And then, of course, we had the additional, um, the addition of the uh, greater than, you know, the voter turnout uh, exceeded what it had been in the recent past, and we were deploying additional equipment as well as deploying additional election judges. Uh, we did lease some additional equipment, and uh, so all of our funds are pretty much gone. In a copy of the letter that we sent to you, we talked about the fact that we have been releasing everyone, and there, there's only a few left that will be cut loose. Um, by the 21st, um, but the bottom line is is that the election judges uh, payment has been made. That was one point. I think I sent that out to you. I think it was like 1.1 million. Was it? Um, but the costs related to the election have been expended. So anything that we cut after that. Uh, is basically cutting into the mission of the department. Um, therefore, my recommendation, if we cannot get a waiver from the new administration, is to uh, look look at the voting system cost line, uh, line item and make that reduction uh, there. Did the uh, budget committee meet on this? Yes, they did. They met Wednesday. Naid, uh, Marianne, yeah. you want to give us your, both your thoughts? We, we agree with what Margaret said. We look over and over again. That's the best solution we, we can have. And that letter that she's writing is, is really good. Marianne, did you so want to weigh in? Uh, sure. Uh, yes, we, we met for about an hour, uh, Jim and, and board members. And uh, we looked at a number of, of, of line items. We asked questions about them. Uh, we, we talked about uh, uh, whether we should, uh, first of all, ask for the waiver, and then if it isn't granted, come back and give them a, uh, a place to, uh, you know, give them a suggestion to do it. And it was Margaret's position that uh, she thought we should ask for the waiver, but also within that letter to make this request uh, because uh, we wanted to get off on a, on a good uh, footing with the new government, the new county government. 
and um, basically, you know, to just say, oh, no, no, we're special, we can't do it. Uh, I mean, that is the situation, but uh, to, to then say, but, you know, if this is a must, then this would be the, really the only logical place we could do it. The other issue is that, uh, uh, you know, the, the, these budgets are put together, as you know, literally years in advance of when they, when they take place. And so the things that, uh, uh, that impacted our budget and what has caused us to go over were uh, items that we, we simply had no knowledge or no way to have knowledge of such as the, uh, the recount. So, uh, so, yes, we had a good meeting and a good discussion. Yeah, yeah let me ask you, if, if we send a, a response that we want a waiver, but if it's not granted, you know, we would suggest the cut from area A, does that, doesn't, doesn't that weaken our position that we want a waiver? If we give them an alternative, won't they grab it and say, no, no make the cut? Good point, Jim. Uh, well, uh, that was the issue that, that we discussed on it. And uh, as I said, it was uh, uh, Margaret's uh, position, and I really am inclined to agree that, um, I, you know, we, we don't, we don't want to get off on a wrong foot and uh, somehow indicate uh, to the executive that, you know, just by saying we can't do this and we need a waiver, uh, that it's, it, 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 it gets us off to better footing to say, uh, you know, really this is not something we can do, but if you need to show the money somehow, this would be the only possible place we could take it from, uh, which is the state's uh, uh, bill, if you will. But as, as you know, um, that bill comes due so late in the game. I mean, we'll, we'll be well into uh, uh, fiscal 20 while the, while the state's still sending final bills to us. Um, and I, I, and I, I, I see your point, uh, Jim, and, and I, it's not that I don't agree with it. It is stronger to just make the point of how we can't do this. But... Uh, the history of this also is, as Margaret explained, they'll come back and say, you have to do it. This is, uh, this is Margaret. I, the county is looking at a $41 million deficit for FY19. Um, I don't believe that the, because of the newness of the administration, that if we come forward and say, we're asking a waiver and we're not going to put an alternative option to the new administration, they may just make their own cut. And that, that is probably then, good. I mean, it's not realistic to think at this point in our budgeting process that we can cut in the mail. You know, basically that's really the only thing that's left is printing and mailing costs. Uh, besides personnel costs, the only and other the only other thing I'll just add from a staff perspective on this is the timing and that it's tight. And you know, in the spirit of working with people, I think we just need to sort of cut to the chase. The prolonging this by offering up one thing and then a counter move and then another counter move it, that causes people to need to be working while they have scheduled leave. Um, not here, but, you know, over in, in OMB and our, our counterparts who then have to go back and forth with us on this. So Jim, getting this over with quick is of some sure. value. Yeah, anybody, yeah, jump in, David, anybody, you know, let's okay. what everybody thinks. Yeah. Uh, um, um, I agree um, with um, Margaret and um, Nahid and Marianne that I, I think our credibility is actually enhanced by not refusing to answer the question we were asked, even though I think we legally could, um, but to, you know, offer up something. Um, and um, I think we are in a different circumstance than a lot of folks, and one of the main reasons we're in a different circumstance is because we did have major unanticipated costs, um, meaning the recounts. And I guess um, 
So I, I have no problem with the proposed decision. I have no problem with the proposed strategy. Um, I do have a suggestion about the presentation, which is do we have um, any way of estimating um, what the costs of the recounts were in dollars? And could we put that into our message that basically we had unanticipated expenses of X, therefore, you know, um, we basically already we, we already gave. Meaning, uh, if you were to calculate that, David, uh, ideally it would uh, approach or exceed the 121 that they're asking us to cut. I can't imagine that our recount costs less than that, but maybe it does. No, but yes, that, you well, know, that, was, that, that was my thought. Um, but David, obviously we'd have to know the I, numbers. I think that's a good thought, David. Let's, let's, Margaret, do you have an estimation? Well, what I was going to say is that in the letter we do, uh, disc do describe that um, the overtime line item that, um, and I'm trying to see where that's at. It uh, says 56% of the department's yes. overtime budget was expended in the first two pay periods of the fiscal year, but I think you have to translate that for people. And, and my own thought is, is that if there's a dollar amount we can put, that would be much more powerful than, I mean, what you said kind of explains, yeah, we had a huge amount of overtime in a very short period of time that we didn't, you know, that we didn't anticipate, but they then have to do the calculation after that. Yes, we can, uh, we can do that uh, calculation again. I mean, we can just gather up the overtime costs from the beginning of the fiscal year and uh, don't put we a have dollar more than amount. Overtime? Pardon? Don't we have more costs than just overtime? Well, there were additional costs. Um, I mean, we could certainly add, I mean, there was your stipends, uh, you know, there's food costs, there's the supplies that we had to order to uh, make the recount occur. Um, the legal costs, too, Margaret. Yes. Oh, yes. How could I forget that? <laughs> well, uh, and, yeah, and, that would and, be I, mean, just, I wouldn't break those out. And, uh, I, I, no, no, no. I just I, just include them all. David, correct. Even if them all. Uh, Margaret, Jackie, even if it's an all estimate. Up and in that uh, paragraph where you're describing uh, this, say, you know, that the, uh, the, that the cost for the uh, recount alone that, that couldn't have been anticipated was such and such. Okay. Or well, appro I can, approximately. Exactly. Yeah, approximately. Okay. What I would suggest yeah. is that uh, because I'm basically getting on a plane in an hour and a half here, uh, Allison will put together uh, an S an estimated cost that encompasses the overtime, supplies, uh, additional personnel that uh, we had to bring in or extend their, uh, their uh, uh, staying with us. We'll review. Uh, we'll pull the uh, July uh, legal uh, bills, um, and that will give them an estimated cost that, that was un unanticipated. So, so shall we add that to what's here? Do you want me to strike the, I got those two sentences where I just referenced overtime in the letter, um, and then instead of just talking about overtime, I'll replace that with a figure that is more, that is more global. Well, and I would say approximately, uh, words approximately and at least. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, um, not, I'm sorry, we have several people talking at recount. once. Marianne, could you repeat what you just said? Uh, I, I was asking uh, Allison if her overtime figure included more than just the recount. Yeah, it ca yeah, included. So I replace it. We could. We included the can the parts of the two canvases were in the new fiscal year, the provisional right, canvas and the absentee. But again, but if we wanted to show unanticipated costs. It right. would sound like we would need to, like, like Mary Ann seems to be suggesting, we would need to separate them because the canvas yes. we should have anticipated, but the recount we couldn't. Okay, so this uh, is in addition to the verbiage the that we have now, not in place. I'm sorry. Yes, recount. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, Jackie, you were uh, made, making a suggestion. I suggest that you use words like at least so much money and. Approximate. Okay. I agree. Yeah. Okay, we Anybody can certainly. Yeah. I, uh, this is Alex. I just had a question about the uh, 
taking the cut from the the uh, intergovernmental payment uh, line item is, is that because that's frequently where we run a deficit because you know we get these bills so late in the process and in the end uh, the, the the county has to fund the shortfall anyways or sort of it's I mean in round numbers half of our budget is personnel which the discretionary stuff is all in temporary staff and overtime which we're already bleeding red on halfway through the fiscal year and so everything else is fixed and we're just sort of in a place where our personnel that half of our budget is going to be over budget um, the, of the remainder you've got a million in the stipends I mean you've you know the uh, of the operating budget, about half of it is the intergovernmental payments to the states, and that's what we get billed on over time, where everything else gets expended out <laughs> faster. Faster, weekly, monthly, bi-weekly. Right. Right. Okay. At least in a front-loaded fiscal year. Well, I, I just wanted to add one, one other, th well, two other things. One is that... Um, we're kind of setting the table also for what may have to be done at the end of the fiscal year because if we're already over our overtime budget, we don't know what we're going to have coming up, although we think we're not going to have anything that will cost lots of money, but you never know. Um, oh, David, then, David, squash that idea. That's okay. Squash I, 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 I will knock on some wood or something. Um, uh, we had that discussion with the Budget Committee. There are three significant policy uh, measures that are going to be implemented in the upcoming uh, fiscal year that will basically have a, a huge impact on our operation. One of them was the constitutional amendment, one is the poll books, and the other one is the automatic voter registration process that's going to be implemented uh, where the voter, instead of being asked if they want to register to vote, they are going to register the individual to vote, and that's going to have some significant software uh, expenditures. So you're saying that we're going, we're going to need additional funding regardless? It's, yeah, it's going to be, we're going to be built significantly. Okay. We started that's paying that's on the poll books, though, in this fiscal year. Do we want to put any of that into this? No, this is all focused only on FY19. When we get to the request for the FY20, yes, we will. We should bring all of those points to the okay. uh, discussion. I, I was only talking about FY19. What I was saying is, is that if we if we're already way past our overtime budget, and we still have half of FY19 left. While we don't anticipate having an election for the remainder of FY19, you never know. And, and, and that we don't know what, other, what else will come in the door. But we do know that um, while you can say we're not going to do overtime for the rest of FY19, something could happen that requires that. Um, all, all I'm suggesting is, is that um, if we're, you know, we're going to have to make arguments at the end of the year that says we need supplemental funding, we we would we may want to start making that argument now. Um, that that was all, and, and, I, and I know that's a strategic call. We don't have to do it, uh, but but you know I think part of that is talking about the cost of the recount. Um, the other point I was going to make is is that we have the sentence about the stipends paid to election judges, and now we know it's about 1.2 million. So we want to put a figure in the in in there for that as well. Because again, approximately one quarter of our operating budget. Not everyone knows what our operating budget is, but you know, saying that it's a million dollars, um, that might get their attention more. Certainly, we can certainly add that figure to that sentence. Thank you, Jim. Do you need yes. a? What, do we need a vote on this, or is it just yes. an agreement? Yeah, we, yeah, first, I just want to thank Margaret, Allison, the staff, Naheed, Mary, and thanks for working this up for us. Well done. Yeah, I think so. We need a motion. You, you don't need a motion. I so move. I move that we accept the recommendation of the budget committee and Margaret. And yeah. Okay. Is there a second? I second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? 
This is Alex voting aye. <laughs> so it's, it's unanimous, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, is that all that was on the agenda, Margaret? Yes, uh, that's it. Uh, once we get uh, further information, about the FY20, we will uh, be pulling that information together for the board. That will need to be an executive session function. Okay. All right, do we have a motion to adjourn? I move. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.